talking about the movies. Yeah. Always a great time to go to the movies. Absolutely. You want to get out of the heat, but no worries <laughs> today. It was pleasant and beautiful. Oh, it's just wonderful out there all Ooh, weekend it long. It was. It's yeah. It's been lovely. And we deserved it after last week. Oh. It was so hot. It was so humid. I know. Don't take me back. It, it's it's it's, um, it's traumatizing. <laughs> we're, we're trying to we're trying to black that part out we're of our mind. On. We're, we're moving, moving on, on to better <laughs> conditions like we had this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, it does look like we're going to get a little bit warmer once again this week, Natasha. But the good news, the humidity is going to stay relatively oh, okay, low. Yeah. So it's kind of a little bit of a trade off there. And if you were outside this afternoon, you know exactly what we're talking about. How nice it was out there. And even now, as we move into the 10 o'clock hour later through the evening and into the early parts of the overnight tonight, take a look at our neighborhood network. And Philly just looks absolutely fantastic this morning, all lit up, looking really, really nice. A wonderful, clear sky. And when you add in that low humidity, it means that our temperatures are tonight are going to stay on the more comfortable side of things. Keep maybe those windows open a little bit. Keep that fresh air going through the overnight tonight. Now, earlier today, temperatures peaked in the mid 80s for the most part. For most of us, this is a little bit warmer than what we had on Saturday, where we only got into the high 70s across the majority of the region. And even though we got to 85 today in Philly, again, with that lower humidity, it really didn't feel all that bad and we actually still stayed in the 70s up in Mount Pocono and right along the shore as well in Wildwood right on the right on the boardwalk and on the water. We only got to 78 degrees, so not really too bad out there. As I said, clear and quiet through the overnight tonight. As I said, also keep the windows open 63 degrees for the overnight low temperature. A little bit of a light breeze out there from time to time, but overall a pretty good night for us across the region. As we look into the beginning parts of our work week, though, we'll have sunshine early on with high pressure in control. Now a weak front is going to start to work its way through at times on Tuesday in the later half of the day that could give us maybe a shower or an isolated thunderstorm, but that quickly clears out and then we'll be looking for maybe another chance for some 90s to creep back into the forecast. But again, it's not going to be overly humid. So even if it does get a little bit warmer than average, we're not going to be seeing those extremely oppressive dew points like we had last week. So sunny and seasonal here early on again. High pressure is going to be in control. For the most part, it's down to our south. At least the center of that high pressure is early in the day on Monday. As we go through Tuesday, here comes our cold front. It sweeps on through, fires up maybe that shower isolated thunderstorm chance, but it quickly moves out. And then another area of high pressure filters in by the time we get into Wednesday. And then we'll see again those very, very quiet conditions through the middle and then the end of the week. As we go into Monday, this is what we're looking at tomorrow afternoon. For the most part, not too different than today. We continue with temperatures right around the seasonable mark at 88 degrees tomorrow afternoon in Philly. Our average high for this time of year is 87. So we're pretty much right on par there. 85 in Wilmington tomorrow. Continue those 80s through the Lehigh Valley. Could get a little bit warmer in Allentown at 87, looking at 83 in Mount Pocono. If you're down the shore, 83 in Atlantic City and 79 in Wildwood. So looking pretty good down along the resort areas on our Monday to kick off the middle of the month of July. 88 degrees in Philly, as I said, for tomorrow. But we're up to 92 on Tuesday. There's that shower thunderstorm chance. Generally, again, the second half of the day into the evening. 87 on Wednesday. We're looking for some higher 80s as we get into the end of the week. So Thursday's 89. We could see 90s creep back into the forecast for Friday, but no rain or thunderstorm chances there. It does get a little bit dicey maybe over the weekend with a shower chance, but overall a very quiet, very summer-like pattern for oh, uh, this yeah. week. Uh, 